Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. I thought I'd do a quick video. So we actually got some news which is kind of interesting for this weekend. Um, so we know that we've got the Wixwell, Mixwell, Wixwell. I think it's Wixwell um, Fusion starting next week. Yeah, so a lot of people are pretty excited for that because he's going to be one of the best fusions we've ever had, which probably means you should be saving resources right now if you're a normal player. Yeah. But we just had news that there's going to be a two times chance on void shards over this weekend. And there's also going to be, at the same time, a ten times chance on one champion that I should have picked up back in the day that I never did. And that is uh, Riho. So Riho Bone Spear, who in certain content is actually, like, insane. Her A2, dropping all of these debuffs, is kind of nuts. Her A3 doing a full cleanse, putting block debuffs out and a massive heal is kind of nuts. A passive in certain situations is also kind of nuts. Um, so when receiving any debuffs, instantly transfers them from this champion to the attacker. So you can imagine something like a hedgy lockout doesn't happen to her. Therefore, she can just cleanse off the hedgy lockout on anyone else. You know, a Kaimar sleep doesn't happen to her. Um, you know, someone stunning doesn't happen to her. So as long as she's speed tuned, she actually just cleanses off with this, uh, with this skill, everybody else, and then the rest of the team get going again. And they, she also heals them up. It's really like, she's a really great champion in the game. So that's quite an interesting one. I'm probably in for that. But I will say, it's, it's kind of a bit of a trap because most people should be saving for the, the Wixwell fusion, in my opinion. I think he's going to be kind of game-changing. So definitely worth just, just holding fire if that's the situation you're in. There's also another event that they've just dropped. Uh, I guess just before that, let me share with you a video that was just released on the Fateless channel. And I'll suggest go and check it out because it's super cool. It's really cool. So we just released this video about our cinematic that we're going to be doing for Fateless. And the, the people that we've got involved, honestly, it's like gaming royalty. Uh, so you won't, you won't even believe it. Uh, but yeah, I'll link that down below. You should go and get involved if you're interested in anything we're doing around Fateless because it's a super cool one. Um, anyway, on to this news then. So the, the second thing which has just dropped is that there's going to be a free gear removal event that, that starts tomorrow and goes on for 96 hours. So we've got four days of free gear removal. Now I know the comments are already filling up. That should be on all the time. You know, yeah, it should. Like, I don't disagree. But at least they're doing it on a regular basis now. We are going to turn on the free premium side of the optimizer for this event. So um, let me just share with you what that means. So on the optimizer, for anyone who hasn't used it, this is a, a tool which helps you gear your champions. It is available on Mac, PC. You can use it on your mobile uh, with our remote optimization as well. Like there shouldn't be any reason why you can't use it for a device anymore. That's That's all been done. And I think we were looking at some stats actually earlier. We have got now, what's the numbers here? 279,000 members on the website. And yeah, I mean, actively using this tool is insane numbers, honestly. 14 million optimizations. Uh, so 208,000 of our website members have used the tool. Yeah, it's just nuts. Just nuts. Like people use it a lot. It's it's really it's really becoming something which people rely on for gearing their champions for any sort of tough content. So what does the premium do? So we turn the premium on whenever they do this kind of like free regear stuff, just to try and help people use it, use that time as effectively as possible. One of the big things it does is it will give you artifact ratings. So you can see here a piece that's not rolled up to full. You get the white text, which is basically with our algorithm, it says how would I rate that piece right now? And then the orange text is, what could be the best rating for that piece? You can use this as a support for doing gear cleanses. It's not like a foolproof because it still relies on, you know, numbers we're putting into a spreadsheet to kick out the results. But it should, if you, if you hit like best rating, you should see all of your godlike stuff is, is relevant to be godlike. Yeah, so you know, like high speed rolls on speed pieces. Uh, and you can change your accounts to have your kind of like level. Um, so optimizer settings here. So my account is based on end game. If you're like an early game, you can change your settings to be early game and it will change the gear rating depending on what level of player you are. 
So the artifact piece is one. The other thing you can get, so when you do a team optimization, if you want to find a team for a certain bit of content, what this is doing is it's looking at other people that have the optimizer extractor open whilst they're playing raid. And it's then finding teams that have beaten this content before based on the champions that you own. It's not saying, do we think you can hit the gear rating? We can't actually make it do that. But it's just finding teams that you could build. Clan boss, ultra nightmare, find a team. Here we go. Um, so what it will do is it will find based on what you want. So for here, for me, I'm, if I sort by the highest damage team that I could build, it's there. I mean, fastest is kind of irrelevant for clan boss. But anyway, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do on the tool. You can select any level of any content that you want. And it will find you teams with options. You can also, let's say you're, I don't know, you want to beat Spider, Hard 10, and you were like, oh no, but I don't want to use a Krizia. You could exclude a Krizia. That way you don't have to change her build. Yeah, so I could apply that filter and then nothing with a Krizia would show up. You could um, you could make sure you include a certain champion. Like, there's a lot of, of things you can play around with here to, to make it fit for you. If you see stuff like this, where there's like two man teams, Basically, what that means is either they did it two man, which is probably unlikely with food or champions that are blank basically had no gear on and the optimizer doesn't doesn't count people with no gear as existing. So just bear that in mind as well. Like there, there might be some slight variations to some teams. The other thing. So so why? So you can do this anyway. Sorry for free. Like without the premium, you can do this. But what you get for, for the premium is when you go into the view team part, let's get one that's an actual team view team part it will give you like a full breakdown of the gear they're, we they're wearing the stats they've got the masteries they've got and then the way they've set up their ai so it gives you everything you could possibly need to tell you how this team won okay it shows you their ascension their blessing they they're using so just bear that in mind like this is how this team actually did it so if you're not hitting the same stats so you don't have the same blessings and stuff then you might find it challenging to do the same, but at least you've got all of the information to try and to try and do it. The other thing I would just call out is, you know, if you're doing like a champion optimization, you can literally come in here into the optimizer part. You've got all of the different damage modes. So if I was just to optimize straight for damage, um, you know, I could check, you know, whatever sets I want. I can say that like, I've got glyphs that I can use. If I hit optimize, when I've got the premium active, which will be active from tomorrow, just stop there. I can view this and it will just tell me how much extra damage my skills will, will gain by doing this change of build. So you see here, if I moved all of this gear onto my Elder Skarg, bear in mind right now he's probably missing some gear, um, but I would get 62% more damage. And that's part of the premium thing as well. So there's more than that. I just thought I'd give you a quick overview, but this will be active, free premium for everyone from tomorrow for the same sort of 96 hours. And yeah, I think... Cool event. Definitely make sure you do some of your regearing for this. You know, you can even go in. If there's a few champions you want to regear, you could throw them all into the reserve vault, which will strip them naked. But I've known people strip everyone naked, thinking they're going to make maximum use of this thing. And then by the end of the regearing event, 95% of the champions are still naked. Yeah, so just like, just appreciate, even with tools, all that sort of stuff, it can take quite a lot of time to do these re-gearing things yeah it can take a decent chunk of time so maybe do a team at a time or something like that and um yeah like now's the time if you if you've been putting off doing a you know a sand devil team or a, a clan boss rebuild or a hydra team now's the time to do it whilst the, the silver cost is zero to move stuff around anyway there you go guys i've been hell hades i'll see you soon